Sometimes free isn't always free, especially when it comes to COVID-19 tests. On today's edition of Curing Healthcare, we'll address how to protect yourself from potentially hundreds of dollars in bills as a result of these free healthcare testings. Joining us now is healthcare expert, Seth Denson. Healthcare expert, Seth Denson, is here to break it all down for us. Earlier this year, when the COVID outbreak became widespread, the federal government legislatively wanted to ensure that testing would be free. And while in most cases it is, when it comes to the business of healthcare, free can sometimes come at a cost. In recent days, there have been numerous reports of hundreds of dollars in balanced billed charges as a result of COVID testing. Advertisements are popping up throughout communities offering COVID testing for a price. So if the test is required to be free, how is this happening? And more importantly, what can you do to protect yourself? To answer this, let's clarify what is considered free. As part of the federal law, all forms of public and private insurance must cover FDA approved tests and costs associated with those tests, so long as that test is deemed medically appropriate by an attending healthcare provider. Translation, if your doctor orders a test, the test should be free. At least that's the way it's supposed to work. But the reality is free testing is limited to two key specifics, and it's important you know this. First, in order to be free, the test must be an FDA authorized test. Now, many of the antibody tests or these rapid tests that are out on the market today are not FDA authorized. And while that's not to say they don't work, they often do, they aren't required to be, nor are they likely going to be covered by your health insurance policy. The second part to free testing is that the test must be ordered by your doctor. Many of these drive-through testing centers and or urgent care facilities that are offering tests are doing so based on patient requests, not doctor's orders. Location matters. Where the test is being administered is a key thing to consider if at your primary care doctor's office, a hospital or government run testing center, it's likely that test will be free to you. But oftentimes these three options, they're not available or feasible when you need a test, which means that you may need to seek out being tested elsewhere. And so while the test certainly can be free, there are sometimes charges related to the testing that may in some cases be allowed given where you are getting these tests done. Knowing this, here are some things to consider and questions you may want to ask when thinking that you may need to get tested. First, is there a fee associated with the test? And if so, what does the fee cover? This is the question you should always be asking. There have been some cases where patients will get tested only to discover that the test was sent to an out of network lab or that that lab took it upon itself to test the specimen for more than just COVID-19. In either situation, you could find yourself being billed for either the non-contracted out of network balance or the charges associated with the lab testing for the non-COVID conditions. To protect yourself, always ask the lab if the lab costs are included in the fee that you're being asked to pay. Next, if the test is being administered uh, is on the FDA authorized list for free testing is certainly a question you should ask. Again, just because it may not be doesn't mean the test won't be accurate or effective. However, it may mean that it's not free or that it may not be covered by your health insurance. You'll certainly want to check with your insurance company to see if the specific test you are being offered is covered rather than just assuming that it is. And third, is there a fee associated with the provider's visit? That's another question you're going to want to ask. Again, as part of federal law, all costs, including the physician fees, are supposed to be free if they are related to COVID. But oftentimes, prov providers are doing more than just COVID assessments while you're there. Any other coded checkup or diagnostic evaluation that may not be COVID related can be billed as a standard provider visit. You'll certainly want to ask what is being evaluated by the doctor that is going to be seeing you. Long and short, 
Getting a COVID-19 test is likely going to cost you some amount of money. However, as a consumer, there are steps you can take to mitigate the charge and to make it as low as possible. In the end, while taking these steps does not always guarantee you won't be balance billed, it certainly can help you remain as protected as possible. And as a final point, if you do receive a bill, don't just pay it. Reach out. Call the entity that is billing you. More often than not, we have found that providers or labs are willing to at the very least negotiate the bill and in some cases, we found that they may even waive it altogether if pressed as to the reasoning for it. Questioning a bill is the best way to ensure its legitimacy. And that's the point. When it comes to healthcare, ultimately, you are the cure.